Hello again, Colfax. Ryan Ferris here, joined by my friend, Coleman Young, coming at you with a brand new episode of CTV. But first, it's that time of year again. It's election season here at Colfax. That's when you, the student body, get to cast your vote for who you think best represents you, your class, and your school. First, let's hear from Coleman about some of the new offices and requirements. Coleman? Thank you, Ryan. It's an exciting new year for our ASB. We have eight new offices up for election, along with some new requirements. Up first is the ASB president, who is the face and voice of our school, representing us to our administration and community. Next is the ASB vice president, not just to stand in for when the president is absent. The VP is there to run projects and productions coming out of our leadership program. One of the brand new ASB offices, the secretary treasurer, who will be in charge of communicating with our administration along with our community, and will be in charge of managing our funds and master schedule. We also have our class presidents, so that's our senior, junior, and sophomore presidents, responsible for organizing and leading their respective classes and leadership projects, like homecoming and Olympic week. And we'll be joined by our new class vice president positions. Along with each class president, there will be a vice president, and they will have their own secretary treasurer, who will assist their class president and vice president in keeping track of paperwork and class funds. Finally, last but certainly not least, there is a rally and nest leader. This is a junior or a senior who will lead the NEST at CHS sporting events and our rallies throughout the 2016-2017 year. Sounds like it's going to be a great election season. A lot of fantastic offices for students to run for and help make a difference at their school. Exactly, Ryan. It's going to be exciting to see how those new positions are going to make a difference at our school. I'll be sad to say I've already graduated by then and missed out on how these new positions are going to make a difference. All right, first up for you, some students at CTV had a chance to speak to our principal Mr. Lumberg, and see how he's recovering from his recent injuries. Here's reporter Mason McBride and photographer Jordan Hill. I'm sure you've all heard about Mr. Lumberg's recent absence, and I'm sure you're all curious to how he's doing. You may have caught a glimpse of him on campus, and that's because he's back working part-time. Every morning I get up, and I can't wait to get here. I'm, you know, I, and in fact, I've been getting up earlier than I normally would on a regular day just because I'm excited to get in the car and get over here. I, it's so great to be back. It just feels great to be useful again and to see the kids and to see the staff and I'm not I, I feel like I'm not here long enough I, you know it's almost 11 o'clock now and I and I gotta go and I, I'd really rather just stay but um, I, I do get tired um, so each day I've come home and I've taken a really long hour to two hour nap so obviously my body's still telling me I've got a I've got some recovery to do and I gotta uh, build some stamina. Mr. Lumberg first hurt himself when he was snowboarding and mistakenly went off the top of the half pipe which resulted in five crushed vertebrae, a concussion, and seven dislocated ribs. As soon as I made that right, I went off the half pipe. And the last thing I remember was my board was starting to go above my head. And I was kind of, you know, doing one of those. And um, I guess what happened was I hit my head first and split my helmet in half um, and then landed on my back. With a recovery time of nearly two years, any progress seems so far away. My clearance date is the 13th of April. They'll do one more cat scan to look at my back and my head and to see if everything is looking normal. Um, this is about a two-year process so when you break your back it, you know, with m the severity of what I, what I did it's about two-year recovery but I'm hoping on the 13th that um, they'll be able to take the, the tortoise shell off. You may think someone sitting out for that long might feel down about themselves. However, Mr. Lumberg has wasted no time putting himself to good use. One of the things I, I knew about a week in to my injury was that I was going to be out for a long time, and, uh, and I was really, really going to miss Colfax. And so I wanted to make sure that I didn't waste this time. And so I, I read uh, books on tape. I, did, I read about seven different books uh, about leadership and about culture, and, and uh, just w really wanted to make sure that when I got back, um, I was ready to go and that I had some more tools in my bag that uh, might help, help Colfax. He also recovered from a brain injury in which he experienced symptoms such as being unable to focus and to keep food down. I had a pretty severe uh, brain injury. And since then, as I've been slowly recovering with my head, which is, which that was uh, the most traumatic, uh, the back has been okay. I mean, it's, I mean, it's painful, but it's not, uh, you know, it's not inhibiting me. I'm w walking two hours a day and, uh, you know, I don't sleep very well because of the pain, but other than that, I'm doing great. Gave me a perspective too that how lucky I am. I, I, I have one of the best jobs in the world and I work at one of the best places in the world. And so I'm just super lucky. Reporting for CTV with Jordan Hill, this has been Mason McBride. Thank you, Jordan Mason. It's great to see Mr. Lumberg feeling better and getting back to work. 
from all of us here at CTV, we wish you a speedy recovery. Wish you well, Mr. Lumberg. Next, every year we hello and eventually goodbye to our friends from around the world. Colfax High School plays host to foreign exchange students from around the world. We here at CTV got the unique chance to get their perspective on coming to America. Here's reporter Jack Watts and photographer Dominic Hoffines. Colfax has always hosted many interesting foreign exchange students. This year is no different. I'm from Germany, so I'm from the South, Bavaria, and the city I live in is called Dingolfing, and it's close to Munich, like an hour away. It's like the closest bigger city. They can have lots of difficulties adjusting from bigger cities to smaller towns. Here, they're connecting in many different ways. I play volleyball and guitar. It's a fall sport, I did cheer, and as a winter sport, I did cheer again and alpine ski team. And then right now, as a spring uh, sport, I'm doing stunt. Sports are just one of the reasons they love Colfax. Um, I like the school spirit you all have, and like sports teams. People are kind of really close, I feel like, and they are really welcoming and nice. This is shown best by their host families. Really nice and really welcoming, and I just get along with them really well, actually, and I'm just, yeah, I'm just really glad that I got to experience uh, my exchange year here with them. I really like them. They're fun, and um, they do a lot. To Tahoe, then I went, I was somewhere up there. <laughs> <laughs> Avenue of the Giants, we went camping there. Then I went to Disneyland. Um, well, we've been to Reno, they took me to Tahoe. Um, we've been down to this, like in Disneyland and LA. Um, yeah, and we're going to Santa Cruz over spring break. This year's foreign exchange students are more than meets the eye, and they're enjoying the time here at Colfax. Reporting for CTV with photographer Dominic Hoffines, I'm Jack Watts. Thank you, Jack and Dominic. Thanks guys, we'll set time again when we give the show over to John and John for our CTV Sports Highlight. Good morning Colfax, it's good to be back for another edition of John and John. We're out here at home plate where our baseball team will be taking on Lincoln once again today. There's a lot going on in the world of sports and we're ready to inform you on what's happening. Yeah John, and spring sports been really busy. Now we're going to take a look back at what's been going on in the last week. Okay first, our girls soccer team took down the Placer Hillman on Thursday of last week in a close game with the final score being 3-2. Alex Melendez, Maya Vasugi both scored, and check this out, John. Jenny Vasugi scored the winning goal in the last 41 seconds to win the game, and they beat center on Wednesday 6-0. That's awesome, John. Also, Jenny Vasugi had a flawless hat trick, which for those of you who don't know what that means, it's scoring three consecutive goals without being interrupted. Yep. Nice job, ladies. The boys golf team beat rivals Bear River by a clear three strokes on Tuesday, and the tennis team beat center six to three. Also, tennis was at Bear River on Wednesday and won six to three again. Yeah, last week, Colfax hosted our first major track and field invitational meet. Let's take a look back and see how it went. On April 1st, Colfax High School hosted its first invitational of the season, bringing 21 different schools from around the region. For us to bring people out and participate in the big Participating in the big events like this is it's hard, you know, because there's so many people, but it's fun. Colfax High School has proven to be one of the premier venues for track and field, and our staff's hard work did not go unnoticed, because on May 10th and 12th, we will be hosting the Pioneer Valley League Championship. Reporting for CTV, I'm William Whittington. Good luck to our track team and their long season ahead. Mm -hmm. Today, softball plays Lincoln here, so good luck to you girls. Also, Swim has a meet against Placer at the RD Pool in Auburn. And on Saturday, track is the Thunder Invitational at Rockland. Next week on Monday, our golf team has their first PBL tournament, and the rest of our spring sports teams have a busy schedule ahead of us, and we'll look back at that on the next episode of John and John. But until then, I'm John Hill. And I'm John McCann. And we're... Signing off. Thanks, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed our show for you today. But before we go, I'd like to wish our very own Ryan Ferris, CTV News anchor, a happy birthday. Thank you, Coleman. Once again, this has been CTV with Ryan Ferris. And for the first time ever, this is Coleman Young signing off.